Hi, you're watching Nerdy News on VideoGamesBlogger.com. I'm your host, Laura, and today I'll be filling you in on the latest in gaming news. Currently, I'm in that awkward time when I'm not quite nostalgic enough about Final Fantasy VII to play it without my eyes bleeding. All joking aside, it looks awful, and that's why fans have been clamoring for a remake for years. At least, I think that's why. Now, a new website registered to Square Enix has leaked details of a possible PC re-release of Final Fantasy VII, maybe, supposedly, maybe. Oddly, there have been several recent denials of a remake, so perhaps thou dost protest too much, Square Enix? The page leaked just a few details before it was taken down. Square Enix have responded in an official statement that has made the whole issue even more confusing, saying that regarding Final Fantasy VII, we don't have any news or information to announce at this time. What? So after all that denial, they suddenly have nothing to say? Uh, I'm not buying that at all. The ability to multitask is always one of those key phrases we all like to mention in job interviews, but we know doesn't really mean anything. Actually, research shows across the board multitasking lowers productivity, but if multitasking doesn't work, then why do we do it? Apparently, it makes us more emotionally satisfied with a task, even if we're less productive. I totally buy into that idea. When I'm updating my Tumblr and checking my email at the same time, I feel like I'm getting so much done, like I'm saving the world or something. Since we're going to keep using multitasking anyway, it's a relief to hear recent research shows playing video games makes people better at multitasking. I don't know about you, but it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside that my pointless hobby enhances my asinine work process. I've been needing more reasons to want the Nintendo Wii U, and just while I was writing this episode, I found two reasons. First. The Wii U version of Assassin's Creed 3 is going to be the version to have. Apparently, the game's developers have decided to use the Wii U screen as an inventory and a map at all times. That sounds so super helpful for a large open world game. Nothing disconnects me from a game like having to stop because I'm lost or I need to figure something out and look at my map or inventory. Totally sucks me out of the world. The next incentive to get a Nintendo Wii U is, it will not have a used game ban. One of the biggest controversies surrounding the next generation of consoles has been the push to end used game sales. Nintendo's decided not to follow suit, and as a gamer on a budget, I appreciate that I won't have to change my buying habits for the Wii U. So, now that more details have been revealed, are you more excited for the Wii U? Let me know what you think in the comments below. That's all the news I have for today. Love and peace from my PC to yours.